Informatica Cloud or is it in Informatica Power Center or in both? I have knowledge on a uh, little bit knowledge on uh, cloud technology, but currently working on power center only. Uh, but I'm yeah. not getting chance to work on cloud side. Currently, uh, on both projects I worked on power de de power center uh, power designer. Center, right. yes. power center. But Very I can good. manage the cloud if if That's they were okay. Yeah. That's okay. So uh, which version you are using, uh, Sumesh? Ten point two. Currently, 10.2. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. So let's uh, come into some technical questions on Informatica. And uh, just before I start, you told that you have a relevant of something around 4.5 years of experience. 4.3 right? years. Yeah. Oh, okay. 4.3. I mean, four years and three months. So, so yeah. basically, I mean, that that will help us to ask you questions on that one, that front, right? So that is the reason I, I asked you this. Question. Okay. Okay. Very good. So let's start with some very basic questions. Okay, so yeah. in a sequence generator, right, yes. you have two ports, uh, next value and car value, right? Or yes. next value or car value, whatever you call it, right? Yeah. Which one has a higher value, or which one is larger? Next value is larger or car value is larger? Next value, next value will, uh, is always. Okay, sure. Next value, current value. Next value means yeah, you have to create. We have to it will use to create, generate a unique IDs, unique numbers, and current value. Repeated current. Yeah, yeah. Current value gives um, the uh, final value of the uh, next value. I think current value is the large. I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So which one shall I take? Faster or the second one? No, uh, second on current value. Okay. Yeah. See, remember, current value is always the larger value because current yeah. value is equals to the next value as and yes, yes. plus you yes. increment by. Yeah, right. analyze so it. That, that's why. Yeah. Right. So when the next value say one goes right, your and your increment by is one, so current value is equals to two and that goes stored in the repository. Yes. For the yes. second record, next value uses that stored repository value. So this is two. So that yes. is why it comes as one, two, three, four like that. No? Yes, yes. Yeah, right? so, yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly. Yeah. I never go like this. Now think like that way. First time I analyzed that next value and current value. So current value is the largest value. Yeah. Good. So let me ask you this question, right? Union. Once again, a very simple question. Union transformation. All right. Yeah. You, you must yeah. have must have used that one, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Does it perform like a union or does it perform like a union only? I mean, you know the difference yes, between yes, those yes, two. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It performs like union all, I guess. Union all. Uh, completely opposite to router transformation. Uh, it uh, combines various uh, sources and it combines various tables. Okay. Union. So, so when you tell that it's a union all means it will have duplicates, right? Or it doesn't have duplicate. Uh, sorry, regarding duplicates. And yeah, no. When you when you when you call it a union all, that means the result will have duplicates, right? Or it yes. doesn't have duplicate. Uh, yeah, it, it contains some duplicates, but we it, can. It may. It may. It, yeah, may yeah. Contain some, it may contain, right? Depending upon your source data, it may contain some duplicates, right? Yes, yes. Correct. How to get rid of the duplicate? So, suppose in the pipeline you got that duplicate in, I mean, union as you told that it does a union all, and duplicate record comes means, it, I mean, so yes. two sources giving same record means that employee ID will be repeated, right? Say for the entire row is repeated, right? So how to how to remove that? Yeah, I mean, uh, if the sources are like flat files, we can uh, remove the no, duplicates. No, no, no. Say for example, my question is: see the sources, whatever it's a flat file or uh, see for example, I have two flat files, right? For example, you, as you told, flat file. One contains permanent employee of uh, cognizant, right? One contains. Uh, say for example, contract employees of cognizant. Okay, so you are doing a union of that. Yeah. My mistake. Two records. Two records actually also got into that permanent employee as well as the temporary. I mean the contract employees, right? Yes. So when you do a union, so it will give you four records, right? It yeah. Not, not wrong, right? Two records. Two records because it's not doing a union. Right? It's basically doing a union all. Now from that union, 
how can you remove the how to get rid of those two records after that by using oh, so sorted transformation in sorted transformation we have an you know, can enable by distinct option uh, by uh, yes. yeah yes that is that is the answer i was looking for thank you yeah, yeah. that is the answer i was looking for right yeah. good very good so let me ask you another question right mm. in this time it will be easy only but let, let's see right so you have a unconnected lookup okay right? in which scenario no listen to this very carefully in which scenario you will only use unconnected uh, and not a connected i mean only only unconnected can be used okay this is the scenario you can tell you okay this is the scenario subhash or this is the scenario kartik in which i can only i will have only have to use unconnected connected can never work connected yeah yes uh, connected means uh, unconnected when we you, you know you connect when you, you when we want to use unconnected unconnected definitely not involved in that pipeline of the mappings but um, simply we can call the unconnected lookup function uh, it required uh, when we requires uh, 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 okay no oh, no i can tell uh, like uh, some particular uh, particular uh, conditions to apply uh, uh, like yes right exactly. yeah we can call so the function all, that's all that that is that is what i wanted to understand right so when you do when you that is called as a conditional lookup call yes right when you when you want to call a lookup based on a condition say for example if department equals to 10 then call the lookup yeah, yeah call the second lookup or otherwise call the third lookup exactly so that you yeah. cannot do you cannot do very good good very good yeah con that you said that conditional that is enough right so yeah now let me let let me go to the larger questions right so okay, okay. so sorted input improves the performance for aggregator transformation yes okay why my question is my question is exactly what happens that you can tell okay, this this is what happens to us that is why sorted input improves the performance uh because sorted in, in sorted data input into aggregator always uh, improves performance because if you sort the data means uh, we filter so many duplicates and all uh, the when uh, aggregator applies some catches if you want to read uh, records again and again uh, the uh, service integration system will read uh, records from catchy so uh, so it definitely uh, useful to uh, tune the performance um reduce the yeah. time yeah, when mean, yeah i mean absolutely sorry to interrupt yeah absolutely right but what exactly happens that it reduces the performance i mean because aggregator it, always executes by group uh, group by group group by yeah, yeah group by option uh, so uh, whenever we perform any cal calculation part from aggregator side uh, sorted in it it take less time to uh, perform some calculations of uh, by uh, um, on sorted data okay. Aggre aggregate transformation i don't know what you are expecting from <laughs> no, i'm expecting i'm expecting why it does actually i mean if you know it's okay if you do not know i will give you the answer right that's okay but i mean exactly why i mean exactly mean, that's uh, okay i'll tell you i'll i'll tell you the answer basically yeah. you know what when you when you sort the data right say yes. we say sort on the department number so what happens is it's coming as 1111122222333 so when the in, informatica when it is reading the data in the cache that you told right yes. okay as soon as a new group is encountered right as soon as from 1 to 2 it comes informatica can do the calculations of for one actually instead of waiting if you do not sort the data say million records are coming informatica does not know whether the last record will be department number 1 or department number 2 or department number 3 so what will happen is it cache size goes on increasing and as the cache size goes on increasing the performance will be decreasing right so i was yeah. that's okay no problem yeah i mean you can you can think about it you can do a google google after this actually so we will come to know okay fair enough so, uh, what is the database you are using, uh, Oracle. Oracle database currently I am using. 
uh, I mean, okay, so your uh, your uh, warehouse is actually on the Oracle. Yeah, right? same. Yeah. Which ver- which version of Oracle? Oracle uh, 11G. Okay. Yeah. 11G is it? Yes, okay. Yeah. So your staging facts and dimension layers they're all all in the Oracle, is it? Yes. Okay, then let me ask you a few questions on Oracle then, right? So, okay. Uh, okay. Questions can be a little tricky, but I hope you will be able to. These are easy questions only, but tricky things. So, row row number you might have heard. Yes, row number. Okay, very good. So you have ten records in a table, right? Okay. I am executing a statement. Select star from table where row num less than five. Right? This is the first statement. Where row num equals to five. And another is where row num greater than five. Three statements. Okay. There are ten records. There are ten records. Less than five, greater than five, equals to five. Which one? Uh, what will be the output in each of the cases? Ah, uh, it gives uh, first five rows of first five rows of the table. If we use uh, greater than, uh, sorry, less than five. Uh, first, if, uh, first four rows. First four rows, right? Not five. Yeah. Yes, greater sorry, sorry. Yes, greater than five means first four rows only. Uh, if uh, row number equal to five means exactly gives uh, gives the fifth row. Okay. And if greater than five means uh, uh, six, from row, row number six to uh, ten, it will gives. Okay. Are you, I mean, did you did you try that or was it was it a guess? Uh, not guess, but I tried on finding n salary and all. uh some fifth highest salary second highest salary you can uh, at that time i used row number mm. but not used much <laughs> yeah okay so so i i i let you i let you go and uh, see the answer actually right when you when it less than 5 is okay right but when it's greater than 5 and when it's equal to 5 you you execute and you will you will you will come to know whether you are you told right or wrong okay okay so <laughs> Okay, so basically greater than and equal to doesn't work actually, right? In a row num, when equals to five, is equals to doesn't work actually. I think equals to one works. Other than that, it never works actually. And greater than doesn't work. Doesn't work means it will not give you any error, but you will get no record selected. Okay, row num only uses less than because row num is generated when you do a select, right? So it cannot until and unless you select the records, you cannot tell you okay these are the This is the number actually. Without selecting, you cannot tell. You cannot do a greater by actually greater than, right? So you have to take the first step, and then you can tell that I have taken the first step. After taking two steps, you cannot tell that I have taken the tenth step, right? So greater than will never be never be working. Okay, you 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 find it out. You take it. I mean, one month. Let me uh, come back. In Oracle, null is treated as a lowest value or a highest higher value. Null is treated as nothing. Actually, I think. Uh, no, not nothing. Say, for example, I have three records. Two hundred. A salary is two hundred. Null. Three hundred. Three records. Now yeah. I do a odd order by salary. How the records will come? Okay. Uh, descending order. Descending. Okay. Null. Null. Ah, uh, yes. Null. Two hundred. Three hundred. Like that in ascending order. So nil is the lowest value, is it? Yes. Sure. <laughs> so much tricky you are asking. I <laughs> think. <laughs> no, I didn't observe all this in a much like mostly working in informatics side. Okay, uh, no problem. Uh, is it nil, correct nil. answer? No, actually nil by default is treated as the highest value, but then you do have an option to do nils first. Nulls, last, or yeah. database thing. Actually, those things actually you can do. But by default in Oracle, I mean until unless your DBA has configured something, null is always the lowest. I mean highest value. But that's okay. I asked you two questions on. Uh, uh, it's not tricky question. These are I mean, <laughs> but okay. Let me ask you a question on uh, uh, performance improvement. You know push down optimization. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you know what are the limitations of a push-down optimization? There are some cases where you cannot. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, if any uh, parameter variables are involved in the mapping, uh, it not good. it not works. And any normalization transformation involved in that, uh, it not work. Uh, 
mostly parameter files normal uh, xml transformations also i think xml xml transformations it not work uh, um, most of the times very bulk loads huge loads in the scenario of huge loads we will use we will go with this most of the times i know three conditions uh, <laughs> normal transformation yeah i i remember this okay okay i mean you cannot use the variable port also if i'm yes, yes. in efficient transformation right so that is one and also i think the very the first point only you missed maybe you know that right you missed it that is there you have to have a database right until and unless they are in the same databases or something you cannot work yes uh, push down will, push down will never work if you are loading from a database to a flat file i mean full push down rather right Yes, yes, of course. Database should be there, like Oracle yeah, database, right. yeah, okay. DB2 whatever. database. I mean, yeah. Oracle or DB2 or what? I mean, whatever database. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. And one final question, then I will ask you, right, about maplets, right? So, maplet. Uh, what are the restrictions for maplet? Restrictions like uh, My, yeah. I mean, which yeah, you got it right. I mean, just like you told, like the limitations. Let me tell you the li what are the limitations of. Yeah, yeah. Transformations cannot be used in a maplet. Yeah, right. In uh, maplet also, I can't use normalization, normalization transformation, and Correct. and some. Oh yes, uh, XML also I can't use. Correct. And and yeah, yeah. Uh, XML uh, maplets can be reusable. Uh, uh, why not striking currently? <laughs> okay okay so if you are using a sequence generator actually it has to be a reusable sequence generator right we so can is... we can create yes you can create reusable no, I mean, non reusable sequence generator will not be used in a maplet that is one restriction right ah and yeah sorry option... yes yes a uh, reusable transformation only we can use in maplets okay okay and you cannot use the target in the maplet ah yes there. of course we can't use target we can't able to put in the put the target table in that maplets okay yeah okay okay i think i think yeah so we we spoke for a good uh, 25 i mean 25 minutes or so right i mean yeah. i'll i'll hand it over to kartik kartik i mean you can continue uh, from here sure sure yes thank you thank you please so make sure hi kartik please so make sure just i was going through your resume so you had say, like 4.4 years of experience right <laughs> Yes. And uh, in your experience, somebody you told uh, you were in non-IT uh, field. So this non-IT field experience comes out of this 4.4. Yes, yes. That's why I did not involved in it. It's completely for IT and IT experience only. I uh, non-IT is from 2017 to 2018. After my completion of BTEC, I immediately joined in that one year. Later, I moved to this IT. Okay. What is your specialization in BTEC actually? Mechanicals, mechanical engineering. Any specific reason, sir, why you want to move from your mechanical course to IT? Yeah, actually, uh, after completion of BTEC, uh, actually I completed my BTEC with good percentage and all, uh, and immediately placed in TVS, but at a very very less salary, like six thousand salary, I joined. Uh, later, some suggested uh, IT field. Uh, learn. Yeah, actually, I have I know uh, like AutoCAD. AutoCAD also I know. Uh, related to computers so a uh, little bit interested in computer uh, computer side so i learned few courses like um, front end technology i can handle uh, like website website designing later my sister's husband suggested to learn uh, cloud technology any cloud technology it will uh, good scope in future like that he suggested so that's why i started with informatica a little bit uh, a little bit uh, interest a little bit uh, much interested in excel excel macros vba tech vba macros and all i know and btech in btech day so all these uh, things useful uh, to uh, make me to take this course and i learn and uh, placed in concentrix uh, uh, that also from mechanical said they offered very less packages initially Uh, like 2.5 and all, uh, very less. Later, once I am gaining gaining good experience and all, uh, now uh, getting 100% hike in cognizant. And even though I am getting very less package comparing to pre uh, others, uh, like my juniors itself, I am getting they are getting good packages like 8.5 and all more than me who are taking assistance from me. 
so that's why i'm looking to change uh, for uh, minimum minimum salary for my experience so that's okay. where, this is what no, no, I, my question I, here is sir see yeah i understand you guys uh, change like concentric to cognizant but cognizant i think they joined in 2021 right yes and uh, here uh, it has been a uh, year plus right yes year right so you 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 are trying to move away because of that uh, the same salary stuff you which you are not satisfied with right yes okay so opportunities wise you, you are okay with cognizant right yes of course cognizant is one of the best organization i am very happy with that but uh, deserves to at least actually for that experience my friends are doing with uh, getting 14 lp and all but comparing to my previous salaries um i want a minimum that's why that's why but they are actually they uh, they have discussions uh, like with the management uh, they given some hike uh, like uh, but not that much expectations okay. yeah okay. see one more one more thing i would ask you is uh, um, so like have you started your notice or this is uh, you are going to start your notice right? no i already submitted notice period um, i think i already sent the details uh, through someone who asked me that uh, notice period uh, that screenshot i already submitted i think i don't know i didn't remember who asked me i i sent through mail i already submitted your notice you have submitted right like how about yes. the notice period in cognizant yes uh, uh, actually two months for my for this project i already submitted last month uh, december 25th will be last day yeah okay 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 fine prayer so, to that i can relieve uh, before if uh, if i got placement from your organization i can relieve before two weeks prayer to that date uh, okay. i can request them okay. by submitting yeah, few requests maybe yeah, maybe hr might discuss with you those things but one more question is like what is your preferred location uh, yeah i think hyderabad uh, someone uh, asked me like in call hyderabad hyderabad so bangalore you know, right? okay yeah you know right sorry i am not hyderabad oh yeah am i audible yes yes so hyderabad has five different uh, office locations uh, inside the city right? like like uh, sinaji park kohinoor park uh, adi patla and other things right so you would be placed in any of the offices is that fine with you yeah no issue for me hyderabad is enough anywhere i can can okay, okay. and uh, one more thing since you know right we are working on data space right informatica data warehousing and other things uh, since uh, we are dealing with mainly financial data uh, for a customer right so uh, we do uh, need to work in office uh, from a secure room which uh, has a clean room thing like which you have cameras in it since you start developing in the green room environment right the necessity is to come to office for all five days are you okay with that uh, solution yeah yeah of course i am okay with that currently my organization also planning to uh, come to uh, had ask me to bangalore come to bangalore but yeah i have to plan but if i got placed in this i definitely i will come to hyderabad okay fine so any questions to us uh, someshwar yeah i'm um, okay with karthik but uh, what type of project i can get if i want place like i hear in cognizant three types of projects are there like uh, maintenance project production top project and developer side project is there three types of teams are there like i what can i uh, like i get if i want placed developer side or maintenance side i can can i know yes so let's see the what how we uh... Yes, that is true. We do also have a very big data warehousing team there, where uh, we also place maintenance and support, production support, and the dev dev team, right? So and also a validation team, which is uh, completely of a scripting language team. Okay, so we have four different types of teams. So we would be mostly recruiting people for the dev team, okay, uh, who uh, we are trying to do. But internally, what we have a pro- process is when you are inducted inside uh, you our project right when you come in to join these years and even you induct into our project uh, there would be a feedback from our teams like for example 
say Subhash is one of the leads and there are a couple of leads apart from Subhash. So when they speak to you, they would have an input with, uh, input about you saying that the uh, capability, how you can fit between a development and support. Support is the like, I'm not saying the production support, the maintenance support, right? So that's how we balance the things because we have a flexibility to move between teams at any point of time. Uh, that would be only decided uh, by uh, our leads when you come in. But when we recruit, right, we would recruit for an open dev position. Okay. So we do have many dev positions open and we just take for the dev positions. And when you come in, we just evaluate again with the project criteria whether your experience and your dev position suits up. Right. And then we will propose you to the customer and take you in official. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you, Captain. I got it. So, Subhash, you have any questions, Subhash? No, I, I, I'm, I, I'm done. So, um, Sumesh, you just try that Rona, Rona thing, right? Once you get, get the chance. Yes, right? yes. And, and you have any questions? Any, any other questions for us? Actually, I mean, apart from that question that you already asked. Uh, no, Subhash. Uh, I'm, okay. I have no questions actually. Okay. Okay. Thanks for your time, Sumesh. Yeah. Thanks. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Karthik. So, yeah. So, so Sumesh, you can drop off. Myself and Karthik will stay back in this call for a few more minutes to discuss, and then we'll drop off also. Sure, Shabash. Thank you. Thank you, Karthik. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.